The governor and the state attorney general just gave us an update on the state's response to the coronavirus. They just reiterated there are no confirmed cases of the virus here in Florida, but they do have people they're monitoring. They say the state is working with the county health departments to be prepared. They're focusing on the strategy for how they deal with anyone who might be symptomatic and saying that this all depends on each situation. If there are individual cases or linked cases, our strategy will to be sure that these individuals first have the medical care that they need and that they are isolated so they cannot transmit this virus to others. However, if there are multiple unlinked cases or there appears to be widespread COVID-19, community-based strategies will be implemented and this will involve uh, avoiding group activities and group meetings. That is the state's Surgeon General. They also want to remind you now is a good time to get that flu shot because you're more likely to contract the flu than the coronavirus because the risk is low here in Florida. Both the governor and the Surgeon General stress the state will be using the health department's website to keep you updated on what's happening at the state level. Right now, there are more than 81,000 people infected with the virus all around the world. 2,700 people have died. With the illness pushi pushing its way into a sixth continent, several countries are now taking some tough steps to contain this deadly outbreak. Saudi Arabia cut travel to Islam's holiest sites over fears about a viral epidemic just months ahead of the annual pilgrimage. South Korea has toughened penalties for those breaking quarantines. And airports in Latin America are looking for signs of sick passengers. Argentina has been taking temperatures at some of the arrivals. Peru has specialists on round-the-clock shifts at its biggest airport, and El Salvador added bans for travelers from Italy and South Korea. In Japan, schools will be closed for just about a month to help control the spread of that virus. And a new case in California may be the first in the U.S. that is not linked to foreign travel.